Hi and welcome to C Sharp Programming. In today's lesson we're going to start with our very own first C Sharp program. We're going to use the Visual Studio IDE to create our program and also to run our program. So let's jump to the IDE. So after you have downloaded Visual Studio and installed and went through all the steps and you run Visual Studio for the first time, you will see an interface more or less something like this. So when we start, we're going to create our very first new project. So we're going to say create project here and we're going to click on create project. So if we want to quickly go and search for the template that we're going to use, it's already in my recent project templates, but let's search for it. And this search bar enables us to quickly search for the template that we want. And the, we're going to use a Windows, form, Windows Forms template. So if, as you can see here, it's Windows Forms app and it's in the .NET framework and we're going to use c -sharp programming so we're going to click on this one and say next then we're going to give this project a name and this project is going to be our first project so let's call it my first c sharp project okay so that we know okay and then we're going to save it somewhere. You can go and decide where you want to save this. I'm going to save this inside my documents, inside Visual Studio. And I created a projects folder. And in projects, I'm going to select this folder and it's going to create this project for me in my projects folder. So then I'm going to say create and it's going to maybe take a while or so it's just going to create the c sharp project for you okay and here is mine okay great so this is c sharp and this is the visual studio ide for windows form applications so as you can see on the left hand side you will have data sources server explorer and toolbox and in the middle here you will have a grayish box and this will be form 1.cs okay this is where our we're going to design our application this is where we're going to drop our buttons our labels all the stuff that the user will use to interact with this program we're going to drop some stuff here then you've got your solution explorer this is where all your files are okay we've got at the bottom your output this is very familiar if you already worked in code blocks this is where your errors and all the feedback from the compiler will be given and here at the bottom right corner you will see properties now properties we're going to use quite a bit so i would suggest to make the properties pane a little bit bigger because we're going to use it very very often to adjust some things and to make our application a little bit nicer so first of all c sharp is very different from other languages um, in concerning um, the way it works so if you're already familiar with um, event-driven programming it, you're going to be familiar with all the things here but if you already started programming only in sequential languages like C, C++ and Java those languages are sequential meaning we start at the top and line for line we work ourselves down to the end of the program so that's sequential top to bottom but C sharp is very different. C sharp is not top to bottom sequential, it's event driven. So we've got a few functions and these functions will do some stuff for us, but they will only be executed when we um, do something, when an event is triggered. So C sharp is event driven, whereas C and C++ 
Java, Python, those languages are not event driven. They are um, sequential programming. But you can add um, libraries to C++ and Java and so forth to make it event driven. But um, on the basic programming, C and C++ and so forth are in um, sequential programming and C Sharp and especially Windows um, form application is event driven. So let's start. So all the stuff here at the top, you guys know already, file, edit, blah, blah, blah. We've got the save button and this will be very familiar. This green triangle, this is our start button. This will compile and execute our program. Okay, so we're gonna use that button also quite a lot. On the left hand side with data sources, server explorer um, and toolbox, we're going to primarily use the toolbox. So click on the toolbox and you will see a few things there. I assume you will see all these stuff. And then there's like a small little pin thing, thingy there. So you can press on that pin thing and it will pin this toolbox to the left hand side. So you don't have to open and close it the whole time. The toolbox pane will be open for you to use the whole time. Okay, we're gonna use a lot of the toolbox because in our toolbox is a lot of the things that we're going to use to design our application. So in, in, for instance, if you press on common controls here, you will see there's a button, a checkbox, a label, a list box, a picture box, a radio buttons. So there's quite a bit that you can use in this toolbox. So your toolbox is actually a toolbox of components that you can use to populate your application and give the user the ability to interact with the program. So let's quickly look at this. Now this is what we call a form. Now a form is like a window that the user will see. So if I press the run button now, okay, and this is very different from C programming. So in C programming, we needed to do a lot of coding before we could actually run our program. But actually in C sharp, our program has already been created. So this is our program, but there's nothing to do on this program. So what can we do? The only thing that we can do is minimize, maximize or close this form and then we're done. So this program is not doing anything yet. And now if we click on the form, if the form is selected, you will see in the properties pane on the right bottom corner, you will see properties and then form one. So if I click on form one, and that's the only thing that I can select at the moment, we can see a few properties of form one. So if we go and have a look here, there's a accessibility appearance, there's font, there's behaviors, data, and so forth. So let's quickly check at appearance. Appearance, we've got back color and background image. So let's change the back color to uh, maybe a bluish color. So as you can see, the form, background, color actually change. So this is very different and um, if you are already used to sequential programming, this is much more interactive. So we can go and select and change properties. We do not have to do a lot of coding to style our application in the beginning. So we've got our form. We can do some styling here. There's a few things as well, like we can enable and disable this, close, minimize buttons, and you can go and play around in this and go and explore everything of the properties concerning forms. So as you can see, there's a maximize, minimize box. We can go and click on that and we can make the maximize box false so that the user won't be able to maximize. So now if I run this program, let's see. 
Now you can see the maximize button is disabled. It's still there, but it's disabled. So the user can't maximize the form, the application at this point. And this is very helpful if your form is designed in such a manner that it's not able to scale with screens and sizes. So you can limit the user by not allowing the user to maximize, for instance, the form. And yeah, so that's our form. So let's enable the maximize again. And then if we enable the maximize again and we run this um, project again, and now you will see the maximize button is there and it can maximize and minimize. Okay, so that's all the properties. You can go and explore all the properties. There's a lot of properties that you can play around with and that will enable you to do certain things and enable the user to interact with the form in a certain way. Okay, that's all from the beginning of C Sharp. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.